Lane, and this is Marley Grace Creations. Welcome to my page. Um, thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel tonight, today, whatever time it is where you are. Um, I am with a group of ladies collaborating with Take 5. So make sure you go to the playlist and just find all the rest of ladies. Everybody tonight is making ornaments. I can't wait to see what everybody does. Tonight, I'm gonna to make an ornament for you, a Christmas ornament. We're gonna use one of these flat, kind of round ornaments. This napkin, some bling, some Mod Podge, and other fun stuff. Wait till you see what I'm gonna put in this. That'll make it the best part. That's the best part. I cut a cardinal out of that napkin. So let me take the plies off real quick. Um, let me get a little bit of Mod Podge on my finger. That is one of the best ways if it's a tiny, tiny one. Um, if it's a great big piece, I might use uh, tape. But sometimes tape tears it. I don't really like to use tape. So what I'm going to do first is um, get a soft brush, put some Mod Podge. Let me put you down, you guys. <laughs> it's one of my worst habits. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I am going to get Mod Podge on here. I don't want to go too far. It's going to stop on these edges. And you can use any kind of Mod Podge that you have. You can use gloss, matte, dishwasher safe. It doesn't matter. Dishwasher safe is pretty thick. But uh, matte or gloss, it doesn't matter because this is just to get this napkin down. And you can see what, how little I'm using. So let's just get it on there. Let's close this up. I'm not going to need any more, I don't believe. Um, now, I want to put this bird on face down because we're going to see through this. So, I'm just going to lay this here and make sure his, it looks like a fold in the napkin. Make sure your napkin is the way you want it because you're going to see it from, there we go. You're going to see it from the other side. So, I'm just pressing this down. Just pressing it down. And I'll show you in just a minute what it looks like on the other side. So you can see through that. That is what I want to see through there. I might should have taken a little bit off of this one side. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to. And I'll show you why in just a minute. I'm just taking my fingernail and I'm scraping a little bit of this extra off. Um, the edges are kind of raw, rough. I like that. So that's a good thing. Make sure it's a little, whatever that point is. There, that looks better. It looks more uniform, don't you think? Let's dry that. It only takes a second to dry this. It's a very thin coat of Mod Podge. All you're trying to do is get this to stick and stay. That's all. Let's get that down. Now, I'm going to take some of this bling. It's just some, you can pick this up at Hobby Lobby or anywhere. Make sure that you have enough that's gonna go all the way around. And I see right there, let's just cut it right here. I know that's plenty. It's gonna be too much, but that's okay. Um, I could put one row so you can cut your rows. I think I'm gonna do two. Let's cut these rows apart. And we're going to do this next, and you'll see why we're not painting the back yet. And uh, it'll make sense. Okay, let's just get some hot glue. Let's, okay, the first thing we need to do, I should have done that first, is take this off. Put this little thing aside, your hanger, so you can hold on to this and maneuver this better, too. And you've got kind of an imaginary line there. Just kind of start this on that imaginary line so that way it'll be even on both sides and you can kind of since it's wide you can kind of go back and forth a little bit and help it hold on better 
because that one single line seems to want to be right down the center, right? I think it's working good, though. I think it is. And I don't use this on, you know, Christmas is all about bling. You know, when you put this on the tree and you see all the lights twinkling in all this stuff, you can almost see inside this. It almost looks like it is lit up. Let's get the strings off. Okay. Get a little more. Just make it go all the way around. And it's got to stop right there because that, your ornament hanger, needs to go back on. We have to give it some room. So we're going to cut that right there. Let's see. It doesn't want to cut, does it? My goodness, I've never had this much trouble. All right, let's try this side of the scissors. Let's try that. There we go. There we go. I don't want to go up too far because then your hanger won't go down. You want your hanger back all the way down. There we go. Now, this looks like a hot mess, but it won't in a minute. You'll see. We don't need that. No, I'm going to get some. I'm going to use Waverly chalk paint. And I'm going to put some in a tray, and I'm just going to put it on the back of this ornament. I'm going to get a soft brush. And you'll see in a minute why I did this first. <clears throat> Let's just get a kind of a soft brush. This is just Waverly chalk paint. Chalk paint sticks to nearly everything. So I want to go just to the edge of that. What I'm doing is just kind of pushing my brush right up in the edge. Let me show you from this angle and you can see better maybe. I'm just kind of pushing it in the edge. That's all. See, can you see there? It's uh, we're pretty much in there. Not even all the way. And it's okay. It doesn't have to be. Just almost just to where you have that kind of a rough line. It's not even a real straight line. That's okay. You'll see in a minute, it's perfect. It's not going to matter. So don't worry about that because that'll probably be, that'll probably be what stresses you out, trying to get it close to that line without going out of lines or just push it up against it and let it go. And I have a glue string in there. It looks ugly. Let's see if we can get it out. Yeah, well, yuck. Let's see if we can. I don't want it there. So I have to pick it. Okay. There we go. Okay, now, I'm going to dry this. Now, see, you can see the napkin. See the texture back there? That's okay. Look how pretty that is now. Look at that. It really looks like a window. Let's get this kind of dry. Now we're going to give this some texture, and you will not even see the back of this napkin. It's all going to blend together. You'll see in just a minute. Okay, let's put this away, and let's get some... Um, let's see. No, no, no. Wait. You're going to have paint left. Um, let me grab some baking soda. And you guys, it is just regular kitchen baking soda. Just put your glob there. No, there's no formula. Just, and when you first start doing this, it looks really dry and yucky. Just keep doing that and it'll get creamier. It'll get creamier, I promise. If it does not get creamier and it stays too thick, Add a little more paint, but look at it now. See how creamy it is and thick? So this is what is going to give us the texture. So this is what I'm going to dab on the back. And again, I'm going right to that line. And I'm just kind of pouncing it. Kind of like cake icing, you know. It doesn't take too long for this to dry either because of the baking soda. 
and this will give you a pretty texture. And then we're gonna add another element to this in a minute now. So you cannot see the napkin, you see the texture. Let's get this dry. And we won't get this all the way dry. We're gonna do a couple more things here. But it shouldn't take it long between chalk paint, here, let me lay this down a minute. Between chalk paint and baking soda, they do dry pretty quick. So let's just lay that down. These trays are wonderful. I don't know what you guys do when, you know, you put your Mod Podge or stuff in, but these are wonderful. You can get a case of them so cheap at Sam's and they'll last you, gosh, forever. Okay, so that's not all the way dry, but it's close enough. See the texture on the back, how pretty it is? Let's get these strings off. I'll do that in a little while. I'll do that. I warp this one. Be careful, don't warp it. Uh, let's see. I have some hologram. Where is my hologram? Here we go. It's Mod Podge, but it's hologram. You see the way it looks? That's the way it's gonna look when it's dry. So, let's get another brush <clears throat> and just brush some hologram on that. And that's going to dry. You have to be careful though drying it too much because you can melt this thing. It is plastic, right? So be careful. And I usually don't dip in my stuff. Like, no way would I do this to a top coat. But I hardly ever use this and I'm being careful not to contaminate it. Just be careful and don't keep dipping into it. Because you might transfer some Mod Podge and all that. So just pour it in something and use it. Not what I just did, if you can help it. Okay, when this dries, this is going to look like hologram on the back. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So pretty. That is getting there. It's not dry yet, but I don't want to melt it. So I'm being careful. Let me hold the sides. Now, I'm going to lay this. I've got a string on there. I'll get it off later. I'm going to lay that on the side, and then we're going to fill it full of snow. And you guys, if you're loving this channel, if you found something today that was fun that you'd love to do, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure you like. Make sure you ring that bell. Hit that bell icon. And every time I go live, you'll be notified, and you can see all the cool things. I also have a page on YouTube. Um, Marley Grace Creations, M-A-R-L-Y, not E-Y, Grace Creations on Facebook. Can I go live every Tuesday and Thursday night? And uh, usually, most Friday nights, I sell napkins for people who love to decoupage. So, come and join us um, if you want to. Okay, look, you guys. Isn't that pretty? Look at all that snow in there. Okay, it's not really dry all the way because, you know, I don't want to sit here and dry, 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 dry paint. So, let me put this cap back on. And you can paint the cap if you want to. You can leave it silver. You can make it gold. You can make it black. I think it looked cool black, but I'm, I'm not going to paint it tonight. I think it's fine. And while that is sitting there a minute, you can see the hologram starting to work. Look at the hologram in there. See how pretty? Let that sit there. It's reflecting light on the tray. It's pretty cool. Let me get some red ribbon. Let me tie a cute little ribbon on this. And this will be done. It will be done. So... Just bring it around to the front. Try not to mess it up too much. Just tie a red bow. Cut the ends off. Ready for the tree. 
ready for the tree. It's that simple. You guys, 14 minutes. 14 minutes. That's pretty cool. Okay, what do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you think you're going to try this. And if you do try it, please come back and let me know you did and what you think. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's beautiful. There's all the bling. It's not all the way dry, but you can see the hologram. See all the hologram in there? Okay, you guys, that's that. Thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next video.